Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the library. I'm your librarian for the evening, Bruno Fightmaster, and we're back with, as we can see, uh, a screen where we select what language we want to play in. Um, don't worry, this is not actually, we're not just playing a language game. Um, some of you may be able to tell what it is from the background, but we'll go ahead and get right into it. So yes, we're going to start the game in English. Thank you. Also, you can probably tell from the sound effects what this game is. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. So yes, we are back with another Pokemon adventure here at the gaming library. But we're going to get into some more details that here in just a moment because I have more voice acting to do. <clears throat> My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright, so we get kind of the same four of each that we had here previously. Um, I'm going to be boring and stick with the basic. Your name is Bruno? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're Bruno. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Uh, we're not going to go with the normal ones. We are going to go with Wade. Wade, is it? Is that your friend's name? Yes, it is. All right, Bruno, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on. Leap into the world of Pokemon. So, we are playing the newest installment of Pokemon, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh, despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. That is a giant TV compared to my character. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Oh, look, I have a Switch. How nice. Alright, so, uh... Pokey Chibi, it looks like. I mean, it's not too bad. I know a lot of people were very angry about it, but... I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Um, it might grow on me. It does, like... I was joking at first that kind of reminded me of uh, Kroger and their, like, marketing with all the big, uh... uh yes, thank you. Um, with all kind of, like, the big-headed people, I guess. Um, but, I don't know. It's fine. So you'll see that I'm going to be setting a whole bunch of different things here. This one for autosave, that's specifically because um, I don't know if they've patched out some of the issues with this yet of uh, autosaving in really bad spots. Um, but in particular, we also see the battle style is set. That is partially because I want the game to be a little harder on me. The other thing is the actual uh, part of this game, and we are going to be doing a Nuzlocke as we then go ahead and bring in the layout. So as we can see here on the side, we have a couple of rules for Nuzlocke. Um, this is kind of a challenge mode, if people don't know about it. We'll do a quick overview. Um, so, kind of the basic rules. Um, you nickname every Pokemon, so you can have a more uh, defined uh, bond with them. And we're actually going to skip that here for just a second, because there's still probably a lot of cutscenes. So we'll get to that when we're just doing some uh, traveling around here. Bruno, Wade came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it's about, but he said it was an emergency. All right. 
Where's my hat? Oh yes, Bruno. Don't go out into the tall grass. A wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Alright, Mom. I get it. Ah, Twin Leaf Town. It has been so long since I played this generation. Anyway, let's go find Wade. You're over here, yes? Uh, no you're not. You want a cute Pokemon. That's great. Don't care. Uh, boo -boo -doo -doo -doo. Where is Wade? He's just behind us, maybe? You're gonna yell at me. Don't go into the tall grass! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's at home. Okay. So he's probably over here. Maybe. I don't know. One of these has got to be Wade's house. No? Fine. Alright, I chose poorly. Oh, there you are. Thud! What was that about? Oh, hey Bruno. I'm going to the lake. You should come too. Be quick about it. Okay, Bruno. I'm finding you one million if you're late. Okay. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Wow, you're a... Uh... Forgot how forceful you were right at the start. Better take my bag and my guidebook too. Oh, hey, Bruno. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Uh, yeah? Is it? Is it, buddy? I need you to calm down. Okay. I also want to check. No, we still don't have... Okay. So there is a rule... For this Nuzlocke that I'm going to be using, as we can see there, uh, the second rule. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use that or not, but we'll see. Hey, you saw the news report on, that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados. The mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. I don't have a Pokemon though, so we gotta stay out of the tall grass. Okay. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. You're not going to. That's a shiny, and that means like one in a whole lot. <laughs> What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you going... How are you enjoying being back in Shino? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm. There's one thing I can't say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Shino. Shino. I can't say the name of this area. That's fine. This region should serve us. This region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. All right. What was that about? Those two. Huh? Bruno, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Famous last words. It's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. What? Pokemon! What's going on? Okay. So I'm not going to get a chance to actually do the first rule that I want. Alright, well. I suppose in that case. So, 
as we can see, rule number two here, the last digit of my trainer ID is going to determine uh, what Pokemon I pick. I don't actually have that option, so I'm just going to roll randomly real quick. All right, and I rolled a three, which means, as we can see on our layout here, it is time to start with the Turtwig. Yes. Go, Tiny Turtle! Hmm. I like this one better. Alright. Hit it in the face! So while we're going through this tutorial battle here, we can also see some of the other ones here. Um... Most of the rules for this is going to be, you know, you nickname every Pokemon. Uh, if the Pokemon faints, it is gone. You either throw it into a box never to bring it out again, or you release it. I'm going to throw it into a box, because uh, that's just how I play. Um, no legends are allowed, and no Pokemon that are just gifted to you. Trades will be accepted, and the one exception to a Pokemon that you give to somebody and then get it back is going to be the fossil. Uh, you do only get one fossil, though. That's what I'm going to say on this one. Uh, also, no Pokemon and me, which is the whole like friendship mechanic there. I'm going to try not to use that because that saves a lot of extra things. And this is going to be a challenge mode. Uh, we'll get to the meat and potatoes of this rules here in a moment. <laughs> your turret totally rocked. But my Chimchar was way tougher than you. That, than, but my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. I don't know about that, bud. They were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll, I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Bruno. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Probably. You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Yeah, alright. So yeah, the last rule uh, is for each route. So like right now, we are at the Variety Lakefront. Um, Lake Variety is where we just were a moment ago where we got these Pokemon. We're going to go back into the Route 201, I want to say, if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, huh? It's his people. Is that old guy staring at us? I mean, kind of. His model is pointed in our general direction. So it probably is. Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Mm-hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Okay. Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Bruno, we should go home too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Wade were unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangim Town. I heard he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Bruno, I think you need to visit him in Sangim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know. 
Bruno, put these on. Hooray, we have some kicks. Going to Sangen Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. I, I don't care. That's fine. I know how to use running shoes, so it's just hold the stick all the way instead of holding button. That's fine. Wasn't that just nifty? Run, run, run. Okay. Uh, so yeah, with each unique area, I am only allowed to catch one Pokemon there. I am giving myself a little bit of a leeway and saying that for each area, I have three chances to catch a unique Pokemon. So if I catch, uh, I'll just use, uh, for example, Starly. So the thing we just fought, the bird. If I find a Starly in uh, Lake Variety, and then I find Starly again in Route uh, 201, I have another chance to catch it. I have to catch the first unique one that I see. If I miss three times, uh, so three strike rule, uh, I do not get to catch anything in that area. Which is unfortunate, because I'm going to need all the Pokemon I can get. Anyway, so, let's be off. We still have our Turtwig and Toad, yes? Turtwig and Toad, excellent. Alright. The other, I guess, slight rule to this is right now, this would not count. Um, because I'm pretty sure I have absolutely no way to catch the Pokemon. I think I have to go to the Professor, then come back home before I can do that. I guess let's just double check. Yeah, I don't have any type of Pokeballs yet. So, the rules for the catching only start as soon as I actually get Pokeballs. And then once that's the case, from that point going forward, I am only allowed to catch the first thing, first unique Pokemon that I see. Having said that, if I get to an area, first Pokemon is unique, and I don't catch it, or if I accidentally kill it instead, that's tough. That route is also bricked. Uh, so I don't get anything from that one either. So you, you can see where the challenge comes in as far as you only get so many Pokemon the entire game. Um, and we will just have to wait and see how that all plays out. So I did a I never actually played Diamond and Pearl. Um, I don't think it actually ever brought up the title card here yet, so I should probably say we're playing Brilliant Diamond. Um, it's the doofer. The doof. Anyway, back to my story. Um, so I never actually played Diamond and Pearl when they first came out. Uh, I played Platinum, which is the kind of combined version with a couple of extra things on it. I'm wondering what all they're going to put in for this game for uh, any type of Platinum stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Um, otherwise, yeah. Uh, I thought because I had played this generation before, it wasn't a new generation to me. I didn't want to do just a straight playthrough of it. Everyone out there is going to be doing that already. So I figured let's do something a little different. Let's let's actually ooh leafage. Let's go ahead and do something a little different, a little more unique. And we'll do a challenge run. We haven't done a lot of those here on this channel because we haven't had a lot of options to do a challenge run. But yeah, I figured why not? Let's give it a try. Um, with the battle style being set, that's also going to be a little harder on me here as well. Because um, that means I don't get the chance to switch Pokemon between fights. So that means uh, there's a very high chance that people are going to get just free hits on my dudes, essentially. Um, and it could be bad. Could be a bad time, but we'll see. Goodbye, Starly. All right, Turtwig, I know you're, uh, you're pretty hurt at the moment, so I'm going to need you to hang on here for a little bit. But we're almost out. Here we are. We're at town. Excellent. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Bruno. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Bruno. I'm out of here. See you later. All right. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Eh, uh, he, he can be like that at times, it seems. He's cool. Mostly. Well, anyway, let's go inside. 
Then you tell me I get to keep the turret wig, yeah? Hmm. Finally, you've come. Bruno, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I give you I give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Why, yes, yes I would. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname of Titan? Yes. Your friend Wade told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with the Turtwig. I'm glad you were kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd had to... Oh, I just can't say it. You wouldn't do anything, Dawn. Come on, you know better. You and that chibi style, you couldn't do anything if you wanted to. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? As long as they're unique, and the first one I see, sure. Hmm, good answer. Thanks. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every type of Pokemon you encounter, which won't be a lot. Admittedly. But he doesn't know that. Bruno, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Sure. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Yeah? Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Bruno, your grand adventure begins now! The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Piplup. If you would have chosen Piplup at the lake, we'd have chosen the same Pokemon now. No, we wouldn't have. You would have chose... Chimchar. Yes. I know how this game works. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Bruno. Cool. When do I get my hat? Okay, Bruno, I'll act as your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Follow me. Uh, and you have to... Okay, we're going to skip this. You, Most people who watch this are already going to know what all this is. Um, so yeah, I guess the rule for... Um, yes, we need to go tell mom that we're leaving, so that's fine. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's a much shorter training montage than I remember. That's fine. Um, okay, that's another area. Uh, so yeah, we will go ahead and heal up. And yeah, because I guess it's probably not until here that I can actually see a trainer ID, can I? Or I don't even have a trainer ID yet. So I really can't do that. Alright, well. I tried. And can I buy Pokeballs yet? Or do I have to go back and tell Mom that I'm leaving first? I can buy Pokeballs, alright. Starts now. Let's go ahead and buy... Uh, actually, I think 10 is probably going to be fine. Um... Oh, one Premier Ball in the house. Right, because you always buy in tens. Uh, we'll buy some potions. Why not? Uh, maybe for safety, a couple antidotes and a couple of paralyzed heals. I mean, we did start out with eight grand. We're we're a pretty rich, kid. 
All right. We have Pokeballs in hand. It's time for the real challenge to begin. Uh, so let's see. We healed up. Yes. Yes. Turtwig is... Titan is ready to go. All right. You, person. Uh, shortcut. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way home first, and then we will start the battle off if I can. Fresh start. Yes, we can. Excellent. All right. So we can stop getting all of these tutorials and then get into the actual game. Hello, mother. I am leaving forever. Welcome home, Bruno. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. All right, mother. We'll talk about how I'm leaving afterward. What's up, Bruno? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got you back. Oh, I know, Bruno. I've got something you'll find useful. Thanks, I think. Take a look when you're curious about something or have questions during an adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Bruno. I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Wade here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. Oh, what to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least want him to take this. Not to worry. Bruno will deliver that to him. Won't you, Bruno? Oh, really? You do that for me? Bruno, please take this to Wade for me. Okay. Bye-bye, Bruno. Bye-bye, mm. Bruno. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, you'd probably head straight to Jube Life City. Okay, please take that to my Wade. I'm I'm on it. Mrs. Wade's mom. Where's my hat? Am I not allowed to have a hat yet? Do I have to earn my hat? No, don't go back upstairs. Go back down. That's fine. Come on. Yes, out the door. You're forgetting because it's important. Oh, now I get my hat. <laughs> yeah, hat. I'm fancy lad. Yes, that hat did always suit you well, Bruno. Now off you go. Goodbye forever, mother. Okay. Is there any grass over here at Variety Lakefront? No, there's not. Okay. I think I'm going to give Lake Variety a pass, because I think I might want to come back. Well, does it really matter, though? I suppose not. Yeah, let's go grab something. Gotta start off strong. Okay, so we can avoid... Okay. See, so yeah, it's really just this. I don't think we can actually get anything in there. Like, I think it's too high for us to surf. And we can't fish. I'm trying to remember if there's some reason. You know, I'm going to note it. We're going to come back. We're not going to get something here. This will be a safety we can come back to. Uh. Okay. So... To Route 201. What do we catch? Oh, nothing, apparently. Let's try that again. Route 201. Do you have anything to say? No, you don't. Route 201. What do we catch? We catch a Starly. Hopefully, we catch a Starly. Right, tackle it. Okay. You are only level two, so that might be enough. Let's give it a try, see if it does.
Nice. Starting off strong. And I already know what the Starly name is going to be. I have not used this name for a bird Pokemon in a long while. And it's about time that I bring it back into the fold. Birdie has been added to your party. Thank you, game. I appreciate you telling me this. Alright. Do you have anything interesting? Now you're telling me what hit points are. Oh, but you give me free potions. I'll take that. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I know you just told about a short talk about a shortcut. Uh, we're gonna go and heal in here because it's free, and we want Birdie to be healthy. If I remember correctly, the first gym is rock type, so in theory, I could go ahead and just let Turtle Man, uh, oh, free thing, free antidote, nice. Um, we can let him just kind of sit for a bit, and we can try to get uh, him some free experience there. Uh, or not free experience, but he'll be in a better spot to fight them, because he is actually a grass type. Um, okay, nothing's up here. Nothing for me to steal as the protagonist. Don't steal from people, kids. That's a bad idea. Um... No, don't do that. Go back. I done messed up. Alright, anyway. Um, I don't know if we have experience share on yet, so... It might be that we still have to allow our Starly to get some experience before we can do that. Alright, we're up 202. What do we got? Oh, we have Dawn teaching us about how to... Uh, Catch Pokemon. I've already caught one, Dawn. And you're gonna catch a doofer. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just, uh, we're gonna speed this up here real quick. <laughs> See? Isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, a Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Bruno. To get started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Well, I should have gone there and saved some money. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye-bye now. Yep. Alright. Uh, oh. Yeah, now I get my trainer card. This is six. Okay, well. Wouldn't have actually taken Turtwig if I had gone with that, but I didn't know it at the time and I wasn't going to know it, so... Oh, well. All right, who do we catch at Route 202? Ooh, okay, okay. We're gonna catch a Cricket Tot. I'll take that. Uh, all right. It's Cricket Tot, you're a bug type, so let's just tackle you real quick. Oh, you're level four too. You're you're a beefy boy. I like that. Okay, that's probably good enough. Yep. 
Let's get him. Nice. Cricketot, the cricket Pokemon. It shakes its head back to front, using its antennae to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. Interesting. Hmm. Forte has been added to your party. Nice. I like it. I really like it. Oh. What was it time? Is it time for our first battle? We're going to swap to you here real quick, because if it is our first battle, you're going to get some good experience. Is it time to fight Trainer Joey? For our first fight. Probably didn't need to use that. Yes, it is. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes meet, so battle we must. So youngster Joey, maybe? I don't know. Oh, Tristan, excuse me. You also send out a Starly. Fantastic. Our Starlies lock eyes, and then I immediately switch mine out. Because I need my Starly to get some more experience. Yours is level 5. Mine is not. So you will have Titan. Get him, boy. Since we are still just this low level, I'm not going to be too concerned about using some of the other moves, uh, stat moves specifically, but, okay, um, yeah, you should be fine. That probably wasn't smart, but that's okay. We took out our first trainer. Hooray! Okay, so... It is already, experience share is already turned on. So everyone's already going to get experience. I like that. Wish someone had told me that I had that on, but okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we know. All right. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to be a wuss and go heal my Pokemon. So I don't really feel like using items. Uh, and I think that'll be a good place for us to stop here for this first episode. So, you know, we're doing all right. First one. I mean, we haven't done too much yet, but I think we are doing just fine for the start of our run with Titan, Forte, and Birdie. It's going to be great. Thank you so much for joining us here uh, at the gaming library once again. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Um, join us on our trip in our grand adventure in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And uh, yeah, we will see what the rest of this game has to offer. Until next time, though, friends, this is your humble librarian, Bruno, and Pokemon trainer, Bruno Fightmaster, checking out.